It is the end of the week, and that's usually when I catch up with some personal stuff. You know, I check my inbox, I return some emails, and of course, I send out thank you notes. Well, I was running a bit behind today, so I thought, if you guys wouldn't mind, I'd just like to write out my weekly thank you notes right now. Is that... You guys are the best. James, can I, can I get some thank you note writing music, please? There it is. Looks like he's got secrets. Thank you, Bachelorette, getting replaced for only being the second most famous reality TV star to lose their job this week. Thank you, Steve Kornacki and John King, for being the McSteamy and McDreamy of touchscreens. I love everyone's so impressed with the touchscreen. My daughter was using a touchscreen at six months. Which is like... <laughs> Thank you, Red Mirage, for sounding less like a political term and more like the 14th Marvel movie to get postponed this year. Red Mirage. Mm, yeah, this one's... A... You might want to help me out on this one. Yeah, I get to phone a friend on this one. Okay. T try it out. Yeah, just laugh if it's not funny. Okay. That's pretty good. All right, we'll see. What? Wait, right now? Or... What? Yeah, now, yeah, well, after I'm done. Okay. After I'm done with the joke. Okay. <laughs> wait, don't no, wait till I, I didn't do it yet, but once I do it, then you do it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Almost. Thank you, Drake's new Alpine Yodels for not going by your original name, Yeti Turds. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That was the original name they went with? Yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> Thank you, fancy wine openers, for making my guests think that I'm either a wine connoisseur or a steampunk alcoholic. Thank you, Owls, for always looking like you just read Don Jr.'s latest tweet. <laughs> Thank you, Election Week, for hopefully coming to an end and for letting us all go back to a calm, relaxing life of worrying about a global pandemic. There you go. Those are our thank you notes.